we travel back in time to 2005 to 2008, that time period coincided with a massive credit expansion and some truly epic leverage buyouts. Now at the time, none were much bigger or as infamous as the takeover of global footballing giant Manchester United in 2005. Now, as the boom period turns to bust, the credit tides go out, and it's that time when you see how many people have been swimming with no pants on. And for the Glazer family, the new owners of Manchester United, it was no different for them. As the true state of their affairs and what it took to buy out Manchester United would lay bed, including the now very infamous payment in kind loans, also known as PIK, finance. Fast forward to today, and we find ourselves in a similar situation in the current cycle as that 2005 to 2008 period. And lo and behold, what are we starting to see emerge from the credit shadows? It looks like even more payment in kind loans are now starting to become more popular. Only this time, they're not being used to buy massive sporting institutes, but actually just normal run-of-the-mill companies. So what are the ramifications of this? Can these actually be our canary in the coal mines when it comes to trying to work out where, far out on the margins, the credit risks become their greatest and things begin to unravel? Well, that's what I look at in this week's newsletter. If you're interested in reading it, it's in the description box below this video. And why don't you like and subscribe to the channel as well. We'll help us get the message out. People thought that Manchester United's purchase was the high noon of these types of PIK loans. They came with interest rates close to 20%. Alas, that is not what I've discovered today. PSE's mission is to try and look way out in the margins to determine just when the $100 trillion global credit markets begin to crack and then slowly, before becoming very violent, start to unravel. Are these types of loans which have reappeared from the ashes of 2008, are they the key to us determining just when the cracks will first start? I'm actually not sure, but it could be. And that's why I feel it's important for you to be abreast of this. Because positioning yourself to be the very first people in the world to know that we have a 2008 repeat on our hands. Well, I think that would be most judicious for you to plan and prepare you and your family. All right, well, that's all for me this week, guys. I do hope you get a lot out of this newsletter. Some important stuff in there. And I will see you next week.